Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute of Designing and this is Six and Sunny. So in this tutorial I am going to explain to you how to zoom, orbit, pan, move, rotate and scale and use their shortcuts in detail. So this will be a detailed tutorial on basically the shortcuts and how to use the shortcuts effectively in Blender. So in the Blender 2.8 series it's very easy for us to use the shortcuts and uh, this uh, using the shortcuts makes your life very easy in Blender 2.8. So if you have uh, some experience, previous, previous experience in 3D software, so you may know that if you are using shortcuts, that will be making your life very easy. To move around and uh, uh, to start working in Blender, this uh, using the shortcuts will make your life a lot easier. So let's go into the tutorial. So coming into the uh, interface, you can see that uh, uh, in the previous tutorial, I have uh, told that uh, we have to uh, scroll the center mouse button so that it uh, zooms uh, you have to click on the center mouse button and then uh, move uh, that orbits the the viewport and if you click on the shift and then the center mouse button and move it pans in the viewport so those are the shortcuts uh, for uh, move orbit and pan in uh, blender 2.8 uh, you have other shortcuts as well uh, so I'll just show you how we can use uh, the other shortcuts in uh, blender 2.8 so in order to come to, this is a perspective view, in order to come to the front orthographic view, you just have to click on the one in the numpad. This uh, gets you to the front orthographic view. If you click on three, it uh, goes to the right orthographic view. And if you click on the seven in numpad, it goes to the top orthographic view. And if you click on nine, it goes to the uh, right, uh, I mean the bottom orthographic view. So the basic shortcuts uh, for front, uh, right, and uh, top and bottom are 1, 3, 7 and 9. Now uh, if you are in the top orthographic view you can see that we are in the top of orthographic view. If you want to orbit it uh, to towards the top you can click on 8 it just starts orbiting like this. If you are clicking on 2 it just reverses the direction and now I am just in the front view. If you click on 4 it uh, just orbits in the right direction and if you click on 6 it op uh, orbits in the uh, reverse direction so th those are the shortcuts for uh, uh, moving around in the viewport now if you click on plus symbol it just zooms and if you click on minus symbol it just zooms out and if you want to come to the zoom extent if you are just in this perspective view and if you want to uh, just uh, zoom to the extent you just click on the period button in the numpad so you have to make sure that you are using the numbers as well as the period buttons and the plus and minus symbol in the numpad area of the of your keypad not not in the other uh, one two three series which are available on the left top you have to use the numpad area uh, to get this shortcuts active so uh, if you want to have the camera angle uh, if you just click on this camera uh, just go into the camera view you can toggle that by clicking on that and uh, you have the zoom button out here as well if you just click on that and drag you have the zoom button out here as well uh, just toggling the uh, the camera view you can see it's happening out here now if you want to toggle using the keyboard you have a shortcut that is zero in the numpad if you click on the zero button it toggles into the camera view and to uh, come out of that you have to just click again the zero button so that is a toggling for uh, toggling, uh, toggling shortcut for uh, the camera view now uh, there is another method of orbiting, panning and uh, zooming in this Th that is like you can use this this area uh, you can use it uh, to orbit the area uh, inside the viewport by clicking on the left mouse button and then uh, using this uh, this area you can uh, use this for uh, rotating, dragging and uh, going into different directions you can see that if I click on this X it goes into the X direction it, if you click on the Y it goes into that if you go click on set it goes into the top orthographic view so it happens using this as well now uh, if you want to have the bottom part just click again on the same area it goes to the bottom orthographic view similarly if you have the Y you have the back orthographic view and click once again the same area you have the front orthographic view similarly left and right happens by clicking on X and then repeating on the X uh, it goes into the uh, the just opposite side of that so this is basically how we can uh, navigate in uh, the viewport of uh, blender 2.8 now coming to the move rotate and scale in my previous video i've told that we can use these tools this is move this is rotate and this is scale and if you click on move you can use this arrow keys just like this 
in this direction as well as if you are in perspective view you can use all the directions for movement now uh, if you come to the rotate also you have uh, this kind of a rotation happening in x y and z direction in uh, respectively in these colors the red shows x uh, the green shows y and uh, the c uh, the blue dire blue color shows the c direction now if you come to the scale also you can see a big round on top uh, on the outside if you click that and scale you can have a proportional scale and if you want uh, if, uh, if i'm just uh, resetting the whole thing okay and now if you just uh, click and drag on the y direction it just goes into the y scale x scale as well as in the c scale so this is how we do uh, using these toolbars but if you are not using those to tools the uh, the best method to use in blender is to use the shortcut keys which are uh, in in blender instead of uh, telling move uh, we use the word grab in blender 2.8 so in blender we use grab for movement so g is the shortcut for movement you can move it in any direction if you just click the g and if you want to constrain the direction in x y or z direction you just click x y and c respectively so click on g and then whichever direction you want if it is x just click on x it moves in the constraint of x and if you want to click on uh, move the constraint in uh, y direction you just click on g and y it moves in y direction and if you click on uh, g and then z it moves in z direction so that is how we move similarly in rotation also if you want to show the rotation select this and then click on r it starts rotating in any direction but if you want to constrain it you just have to click on uh, x direction then it goes in x direction if you click on y it goes in y direction so it's constraining in the direction which we are uh, telling using the shortcuts so if it is in c it shows the rotation in c direction so r x r y and r z so that's how it is and then if you want to scale it also you just click on uh, uh, s for scale so s is the shortcut for scale just click on s and then start scaling uh, proportionally if you want only in x direction just click on s x which scales in x direction if you click on s y then it scales in y direction and uh, s z it uh, scales in z direction so this is how uh, we scale uh, using shortcuts if you want to consider in two directions that is x and y and if you want to avoid z then what you do is like you just click on s for scaling and then shift z so that it constrains uh, its scaling in uh, x and y direction and avoids x, uh, the z direction so this is how it is done if you want to uh, scale it uh, by avoiding the x direction what you do is like if you just click on s it starts proportional scaling and then shift x so that it doesn't scale in x direction only in uh, z and y direction it just starts scaling so similarly you do that in uh, shift y then it, it doesn't scale in y direction only in x and z direction it just starts scaling so this is how it is done so basically you can see that uh, it's very easy to use the shortcuts in uh, in blender 2.8 and uh, start mo uh, moving forward in blender so hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you like this tutorial kindly subscribe this channel and make sure that you you if you have some queries kindly comment below so that i can give you the answers so please do subscribe and click on the notification link next to it thank you